Okay, uh, welcome back. It's been quite a while since my last upload. Several years. Uh, busy doing a lot of different things. You know how it goes. Um, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Player One uh, Apollo M Max uh, mono camera. Uh, this is the IMX432 camera. Uh, yeah, it's supposedly really amazing, so I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I also bought the active cooling system for this. Um, yeah, so let's open them up and just take a look real quick. When doing some research on this, I, uh, I was able to find another one other video. Uh, didn't understand anything that the guy was saying because I don't speak Spanish. Okay. Here we go. It feels great taking off the plastic. Okay, all right. Well, there they both are. Both the camera and the cooling fan. So we will, actually, let's start with the cooling system. Uh, looks like it's <clears throat> nice boxing. We got some, some foam. All right, so what do we have here? Got a couple different things. Looks like we've got some, the, this is the power cord for it looks like yeah yeah this is the um, 2.1 millimeter uh, 12 volt so not sure I'll probably have to buy an adapter for what I currently have um, so that I can get that working and here it is this is the active cooling system uh, we've got both fast and slow right there Faster, the more it cools, the slower, the less it cools. Pretty self-explanatory. Plugs in pretty good. Has a nice solid fit. Pressure fit. <clears throat> and it looks like oh, we've got a thermal pad here. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, uh, there's a few different ways uh, to cool different things. Uh, in most uh, computers, you've got uh, some thermal paste. Uh, this is essentially the same thing, but it's a pad instead. Um, they are different, obviously. The thermal paste uh, conducts heat a little bit better, but the thermal pad is nice as well. Um, and then it looks like some screws along with an Allen wrench in here. So, just open this up. And there we have it. Yeah, okay. Pretty simple. Put all that back in and set it off to the side. Okay. All right, now's the big boy, the camera. Uh, again, solid packaging. Uh, on the bottom here, we've got a little ribbon that allows you to slide it out. And again, same foam. And let's see. Yeah, okay, so we've got like a little blower that it comes with. Um, it looks like this is a, a one-way check valve. But that way, these are really nice. You can use them to bl uh, blow dust off the sensor um, without damaging the sensor. Uh, do not blow with your mouth. Uh, your mouth, like the air from your mouth, has spit in it. Uh, moisture that can get on and actually make it worse. Uh, in this bag, we've got the we've got a, a cable um, for auto guiding if you want to use the camera for that. Uh, and once again, it looks like we've got some just different Allen wrenches in here. I won't bother open that up. up. And then we've got a USB three. Uh, USB cable. Oh, and here it is. Here is the camera. Okay, so here it is. See Apollo M, uh, the Apollo M Max. 
Now this is a 1.7 megapixel camera. Um, the sensor size is 1.1 inches and this is a 12-bit. Uh, that's a lot of good data and information coming through. Um, right here we've got the ST4 connector. Like mentioned before, it's that cable that allows you to use it as a, an auto guider. And the USB 3 plug. Um, right here is where you would attach the, the cooling um, system. Just attaching it like not really sure. Probably like that. Or however. That's what's nice about this is you can really attach it however you want. Whatever makes sense. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Now, my only question is, is with these... Oh yeah, that's plenty long. So that these screws, when they go through and they're attached, they go that far into the into the body of the camera. So pretty good. Looks like it uh, it'll hold it on there pretty well. Um, but yeah, this is it. If we remove the rubber cap, we can then see the sensor. Just unscrew the one one and a quarter snout, and ooh, that's a beautiful sensor. It's very, very, very nice. That does not look like one point one inches. <laughs> not really sure then, but either way, it's actually pretty nice. Um, some people might wonder, like, oh, it's only 1.2 megapixels or 1.7 megapixels. Why would you buy a camera like that? Um, it's not all about the megapixels. Um, there's a lot of different things that goes into the quality and the size of what a sensor can do. Um, and megapixels is more or less the, the best way to put it is it's a sales tactic. I mean, there is science behind it, and it does make sense. Um, but megapixels is nice. Um, or, yeah, it's not everything, is what I mean. But, yeah, uh, there it is, the Apollo Max camera. Um, at the end of this video, I'll post probably video and pictures of what I've actually been able to get with this. So, thank you, everyone, for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.